Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a little project share of embellishments that I had created and I'm so excited. So I So I was not able to find like a super tiny small die, but I don't know if you guys saw my other project share where um, I used uh, this die set that I purchased, but I kind of like pick scanned it into my silhouette. You know what? Let me get the die and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I kind of like used this die set. This is from Sizzix and I'll show you guys. So I did a project share previously on this die and how I had created some cards and things like that. Oh my god, will this come out? So in this die, it's like an embossing die set in one, I used this coffee cup. Now you guys can see my coffee cups are a lot smaller than the die. But what I did was cut out this die in like a colored paper. I used my pick scan mat for my silhouette and then I was able to get this onto my computer. I had cut off the top in the file um, so I could get like a separate piece for the lid and yeah then I just sized it down and then I was able to cut it with my machine instead of having to use the die but that's one way you could use your dies if you have like a cutting machine and I don't know if Cricut does that but I know Silhouette um, has the pick scan mat option so I want to show you guys what I created after I did all that and I just created a whole bunch of little coffee cup embellishments and they turned out super adorable. So I ended up using some of my scrap paper um, that I just had laying around in my bin and I created all of these. So um, the background is just like this floral kind of thing but you can't even tell that it's really too florally because obviously it's a little embellishment so it got cut up into little pieces. Um, but this one I just had um, typed up I love you. And I turned them into stickers and I had typed up like a whole bunch of words. So I just kind of made them for myself like this. A whole bunch of like little words that I had typed up and cut. Um, and then I ended up sticking them on this project. Um, so this one just says I love you. I made the little straw with other scrap paper that I had. It's so cute guys. Um, and this one I also added like some little nouveau drops uh, on this one as well I made the little straw and I made the little straw on all of them but I just basically took a little piece of paper that was 0.75 um, inches wide and then I just kind of like rolled it up I flattened the back so I could glue that part and the rest is still kind of like curled and stuff um, so this one also this one just says enjoy life I've added in some little jemmies on here changed the top to like a glitter it's very pretty. Um, this one just says live your story. I had like these scribble circles that I had cut out using, this is actually wrapping paper, um, and like this nice pretty gold color. So I had cut that in half as like a little background decoration for this that just says live your story. And then there's this one that just says be brave with these little jemmies and then the white ones are nouveau drops that are currently drying. I think it's really cool to watch these kinds of videos because not every embellishment is like decorated the same and I think that's so fun to watch. So here I have these two with like this pattern paper I just had a scrap of. I was almost out of like this glitter paper so I just thought I would use it for the tops because I had like a very little itty bitty piece left um, so I just thought I would use it to match this and I think it goes great together. These little pieces I was actually creating tassels the other day and this is supposed to be the top of the tassel and I ended up not using that because I ended up using like these actual metal pieces for the tassels so I just had these scraps left over. I'll show you guys what they look like. So I had these little scraps left over they just look like this and this would normally wrap around the top of a tassel. Um, but I had a whole bunch that I had cut out previously out of also scrap paper. I've been trying to use up a whole bunch of scrap paper for um, um, all these embellishments I've been creating recently. So it's been working out really good. Um, and I also used scrap paper for the straw again. And I created straws on everything like I said before. Um, anyway, so I used that. I was able to get two out of this because I just cut it in half. It doesn't have like a little stitching on one side, but it's fine. Um, and it's this one just says celebrate because I once I put that on it kind of reminded me of like the topping of like a cake or like some kind of frosting or something um, and I had decorated these differently so this one just has two green jemmies this one has two green and then two nouveau drops on the outside of um, the thing and I forgot to mention but all of my little coffee cup embellishments have this little corrugated paper 
If I can find it, I will link it down below. I did purchase it from Amazon, but it um, ends up being like in and out. Like sometimes I have it in stock, sometimes I don't, and it ends up being like really hard to find. Um, but if I could find it, I will link it down below for you guys. So that's two. Then the other two, oh no, I just touched it. Oh, oh goodness, that was a little dry, good. Um, so the other two I ended up just using also like some scraps that I had, which is the snowflake because I was creating these little um, uh, little mini rosettes yesterday that are snowflakes. Let me try to show you guys one. But I didn't end up using all the little snowflakes. So here's like an example of a rosette I made, a little snowflake, except there's also like a smaller version. Let me see if I can find the smaller version. Here we go. So like this little um, snowflake and I cut out some in silver, but I ended up changing this to pink. I think this is the one I was going to do silver at first, um, but I ended up doing a pink one. Um, so I had a couple of these little silver um, snowflakes left over. I added a, a little jemmy in the middle and then on the outside I have Nouveau drops, which is what like the white little dots on the outside is. And this one's a lot simpler, but I thought they were really cute and perfect for like the winter time. These next ones are the most similar of the bunch because they all have like that little leaf thing. Um, but this little leaf thing um, I had cut out using my Silhouette machine I think a while back. Um, or maybe this was, no, I think this is actually a die. No, this is a die I think from In Love Art Shop. I'll have it, I'll have it linked down below um, if I find it. Then these little words, I don't know what company these are from but I have like a sticker sheet of these words um, so I just used ones that were like kind of like more inspiring or some kind of celebration or something um, then I added in these purple Nouveau drops at the top and this purple little straw that I had a scrap paper of and I literally only had enough to do the straws I don't even have that paper anymore unless I pull out like a completely new sheet but it actually ended up working out just fine um, and I really like how these have been turning out and then I have one more uh, to show you guys. So these last ones are also very similar in that they all have like this um, a ribbon. Um, so this is like ribbon. The leaf thing is like a ribbon that I purchased off of AliExpress and it came in a three pack. So I'll show you guys that because it came with um, gold, green, and silver. I could have that linked down below for you guys as well, but it's just like a nice little leaf ribbon and I love it so I thought it went well with this because I had used um, gold glitter cardstock for the lid. Um, I used some scrap paper again for the straw. I just had a lot of scrap paper I needed to use up guys and I still have like more scraps. You know like when you're trying to use up your scraps you end up with more scraps like I literally have little teeny pieces of this red thing left but I could always make more embellishments and in case I ever need like a little sliver of that red I will have it. Um, so this one is also very similar because they all have that ribbon. Um, and they all just have that one kind of phrase. So it says dream big, inspire, believe, and choose joy. But I think these turned out so cute. I made them fairly sturdy. Like you guys could hear that. It's fairly sturdy. Um, it's a 110 pound cardstock that it's backed on. And then you just have um, layers. So some of them are just like really thin, lightweight paper layers. Um, but as long as I have that backing, which I did for all of them, it ended up being just fine. So yeah, those are my little coffee cup embellishments. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how to like um, cut something out using a die cut and if you have a silhouette you could um, you know put it into your computer with a pic scan mat. Let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial on that because I feel like I'll be doing that a lot more often. They're just so much easier to make especially when you're making like a whole bunch of these little mini embellishments and they're just so fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little project share video and the different ideas I had for these little coffee cup embellishments. Please let me know what you guys think and let me know if you guys would like to see a video um, using kind of like that technique I guess that I used to make these from this from this little uh, die. So let me know if you guys want to see that and I will see you guys in my next video. I'll talk to you guys soon and thank you for watching. Bye!